they're ready to come out. <laughs> so, so I move them over here to this little tote, so that way they can just hang out and while I do everything. Sometimes I take them out while um, I'm very careful and I make sure they, I just wait for them to move and before I move. All right, hi everyone. Welcome to Blue Lotus Gardens. My name is Blue Phoenix. If you're new here, welcome. Today I am sharing with you all a plant vlog of what I've been doing uh, behind the scenes of at Blue Lotus Gardens, my plant shop, my home-based plant shop. So I'm focused on sustainability. So that's why we have chickens and um, composting and um, also like for my plants. And so I share all that knowledge on my website. So if you want, you can check down the link down below um, if that's something you're interested in. And also make sure you like and subscribe um, to for more of uh, videos of what I'm doing. So I've been looking for a chicken coop to purchase, but I think I am might just end up buying, I might just end up making one. So this might be, uh, this might, this might be out soon, this might not be out soon, but depending on how soon I get it done, that's when we'll share this video. So on to the video. I think I just figured out how to upload an HD. <laughs> this is one of the plants that we're going to propagate today. This is the Monstera lechelariana. Very beautiful plant. I'm so excited to add this on to my site because now I get to uh, share this with you all. Um, it usually takes me about, I want to say a month to um, get a propagation going. Um, Sometimes they are semi-rooted and then sometimes they are fully rooted, but you know, it just depends and I do let people know. So that way uh, they know ahead of time, but you're always gonna get a really good plant from us. I really like the fenestration. That's cool. It's almost like a, the Baltic, but um, a thicker leaf. It's like literally just gripping on by itself. Just... I thought I lost a leaf, but that's a really nice like cutting right here. Okay, so next, oh, I'll take this one out. And now I'm just gonna like let it grow out. And then um, as you see here, uh, I'll do a, a B-roll of it, but uh, in here there's a, uh, that little part right here that's poking out, that's protruding out the um, bottom, that's, uh, the new growth so they just kind of like will emerge from here and then since it has like really good roots so it's just gonna push off new growth in probably like a good month or so. Now I'm gonna use sphagnum moss to just keep them in there and I have one with holes it's nice and fluffy it's a little moist already So now I just have it in here. Um, it's easier for me to do this because it keeps it um, all of them in one section so I don't get them mixed up with anything and they get the roots are a little bit longer and then I transfer them over to soil. I usually do um, like uh, sometimes I'll do a prop to um, I'll, pro I'll do like one to each container and then just let it grow out that way. And then sometimes I do two if I have a lot. So in this one, uh, I'm going to let 
this grow out so that way I can have this top cutting to cut also so that way I can do two each for all of them and then maybe have one extra so that way I can just gift or uh, trade. I usually uh, hold one of the nicer plants off so that way I can do trades and uh, or gift to people. We're going to be doing a lot of like uh, fun giveaways so definitely stay tuned. Um, I've just been growing them out so that way they're like good for when they get to sh uh, ship to you all. Next, I want to propagate a uh, new Hoya that I'm working, I've been working with. Um, it's a Hoya Rosita. And I shared this one with you all last time. But I really enjoy this one because it has this nice, beautiful, um, elegant foliage. Uh, it's this like dark, deep red. It's, um, it comes off in camera like a little bit like greenish red, but it's maybe because I've kept it in, in the grow tent, but it's really pretty. It's, uh, it's um, a little bit slower to grow, but it's, I think personally it's worth it. I love it. I like how it's like, the, the foliage is like contrasting to one another. I like that. I like that simple, like elegant foliage. Um, and it's a thicker leaf ho Hoya. It definitely resembles a little bit like the Wyetii or the Kentiana, whatever, whichever one that is. Um, but uh, it has like a little bit more like a, instead of it just being on the edging of the foliage, it's on the full foliage itself. Go help the chicken. So they like to kind of just like hang out here. Alright, so we're going to propagate this Hoya and take a moment to play with the little chicks. And what I like to do is I like to wait till most of the foliage is really like um, a bit more mature so it's not easier for it to fall when you uh, transfer it over. I usually wear gloves, but so here we are, the Hoya Rosita, and what I'm going to do is just, as you see, it's dripping sap. I'm just going to let it um, hang off, hang out to the side, and then just get back to it later, and then repot it into this uh, little container. Next, I have to like re uh, propagate my uh, Syngonium Mundanilei. So uh, these are plants that I offer on my Patreon. Um, I started offering first on my Patreon and it's really helped my business grow. Um, invest in a little bit more like special, more like um, more collector plants. I really enjoy that. Okay, so I had to take off some the the, uh, the juke, the little wrapped pole on that, and so I I air layer this one because it's sometimes a little bit harder to find the roots for the plant. So I just uh, make it easier for myself, and I just kind of come like that. Oops. Now we have another plant. And then I'm just gonna place this in soil and then wait for this to stabilize and then take a cutting from that. But as you see here, we're gonna let this one uh, rest and, and just, um, because it has also like new growth here. So as you see that, so from here, we'll, it has new growth. We'll just let it rest. I have it marked, <laughs> so I know. And during this time, you could like bottom water it and then just allow that to rest from there on out. And then that way it's absorbing all the water it really needs during this time. So I have my mojito here. 
and I really enjoy this one. I got this one of them from my supporters, and then I got another one from a trade I did um, at one of our local trade events that I go to. So thank you. What I'm gonna do is um, propagate these and then uh, plant them together in a one gallon container and then just let them rest and put them aside. So that way it's a little bit easier for me. And then I'll just take propagation from there. And I get to like, trellis it. It'll be so much easier for me to do that. Oh yeah, this is so good. So much easier. For me, this is so much easier. <laughs> So here's the result. Y'all see that? Y'all see how wild that is? But it's easier. So if you're like um, starting off with syngoniums, this is how I started off in trying to propagate them. Especially if you're like investing in like some nice syngoniums, you kind of want to just be a little bit cautious on how you propagate. <laughs> so this is my way of doing so. And, um, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to cut it from here. And then that's going to leave me one little, little leaf right here, but that's fine. It has some aerial roots right there. So what I'm going to do is actually, uh, once I repot them, I'm going to layer it with sphagnumus, 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 sphagnum moss on top of it, and then just um, allow that to adhere to it, and then that way all the new growth really pushes out easier and faster. In my opinion, chickies. They're like right down there. I'm not. I feel like I can't move. Oh, they're on my foot. <laughs> No, triggers. Let me see. Okay. They're a little flighty. They just kind of like fly everywhere. So next, I want to take this top one also. So what I'm gonna do is, it's like angled. You kind of have to like angle yourself on doing this one. So this one's a little bit rough. I might have lost this leaf, yeah. No? Okay, maybe not. Okay, so I have these two here, and then I have these over here. Let's see how pretty that is. And it has this new one emerging from that. We're just gonna like let the callus out. Oh, and then also I did a poll on my, on my Instagram sharing, um, if you all wanted for me to like uh, add a uh, mystery cutting option for more of like a collector item. And so now that I have a little bit more I can offer you all, that's definitely now an option that I'm going to be adding. So definitely take a look onto the website and see if, if that's something that if you're interested in. Some of the plants that you've been seeing throughout the videos is what I'm gonna be offering. So. I think it's a great uh, option if you want to start with some plants that are a little bit easier to care for and they're still collector uh, plants and they're at a good affordable uh, cost to you. I'm also going to take a little sip of coffee. As you see,
see this one's a little bit more tricky. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of like cut it at the base and just go from there because I don't know what to do with this one. Make sure there's a chick flying around. Don't want to throw all the soil on them. This is it. Um, I don't. I'm just kind of like brave enough to just kind of like sniff off onto it. And I think I can recover well if I do it. So I'm just gonna do it because I feel brave enough. One cutting. Ooh, I cut into that root. So here's another one. We're just gonna have to work on those. And then I have this big old other one right here. So we're just, these are just gonna be ones I'm working. No, no chicken. Three hours later. <laughs> oh, nope. This is Domino. She's tiny. She's a little silky. I'm putting them up right now, so <laughs> sorry if the angle is a little bit weird. Oop. Three more to go. All right, here is my rooster, my new, my rooster baby. I call him Mr. Hugh, a little Hugh. Look how pretty he is. He is a white silky. Look at that. He's such a good, good rooster and takes really good care of them. And he's tiny. <laughs> Here is my other ones, my original hens. So pretty. There you go, one more. Come on, Mama. Come on, big girl. You give me the leaf couple. Here's the, here's the other one. So pretty. <laughs> For now, uh, they're in their little cage that they were brought in. And then this is the original little coop that y'all saw me build. Hi, Mama. I'm actually able to. F I'm actually able to now um, raise the money that I was able to get a new chicken coop. So um, definitely getting one tomorrow morning, and I'm picking it up, and so you all see me get it and put it put it together. That's why I'm kind of like uploading a little bit late. So.
faire. The next day. So I made this little <laughs> makeshift um, little like what is it called? So I made this for them to walk on and they're finally walking on it. I just put some treats on it and they're walking on it. It's pretty cool. Where's my little one? Oh so little. He's so little. And there's big yellow. Big yellow. Almost. Ow! <laughs> Not me. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> So I have my first egg, my little Daphne is resting on it right now, so just going to see what happens. So here's our new little home. I'm definitely gonna work on modifying it, but this is what it is, and I'm so excited that I finally got a little chicken coop for them. All right, so I think I might have two fertilized eggs, so I have marked them with lightly with pencil all right Thank you all so much for watching my video. I appreciate you all subscribing to my channel, liking my, my videos, and then just really helping us grow. Um, make sure to subscribe down below and then always uh, become a member of our website. It really helps us all um, grow and you all get so many discounts and, we, and members get to enjoy so, many, so much more. So um, we all have future videos for you all of what we'll be doing on our backyard farm and future adventures there's gonna be a lot of like plant shopping videos so make sure y'all subscribe bye everyone you gonna tell them bye oh my papa <laughs> so sweet yeah <laughs> Bye, everyone.